Arts. The Africa Tech Challenge is a youth empowerment project set up by China's AVIC International Holding Corporation in conjunction with Kenya's Education Ministry. This project is set to commence its second season and its aim is to at least cut this enormous unemployment rate that we see here in Kenya by targeting recent graduates and fourth year students with IT backgrounds. It empowers them by upgrading the technical and information technology skills, enabling them to get high level internships and jobs. Now last year, the three most outstanding participants walked away with a full scholarship to a master's degree in the most prestigious engineering schools in China, as well as cash prizes. Now, Lynette Ndile is a project manager for AVIC International Holding Corporation. She joins me now in studio. Um, Lynette, for those of us who are not familiar with this program, tell us how exactly it works. Well, Africa Tech Challenge is a youth empowerment project that not only focuses on competition, it works as in the focus more on training. As we know, our youth in Kenya and the rest of Africa are said to lack technical skills when seeking employment. So Africa Tech Challenge is here to provide more training as opposed to focusing on competition. So it works through training the participants before and letting them compete as we upgrade their skills. Indeed, we'll get to the fetishization of entrepreneurship in a moment though, but how are last year's winners of this competition doing? What's, what's the follow-up from what they did after winning the competition, getting their hands on these scholarships and cash prizes, then what? The three most, most outstanding participants are currently going to China to pursue their master's degrees. We gave them a full scholarship to each pursue their mechanical engineering specialization. And for those who remained, we have been able to absorb them in the local industries in Kenya. There are four who got very good internships with Mutsimoto Motor Company, Nakuru, Sami Nairobi, and even others were able to get jobs after Africa Tech Challenge because they got the skills that now is required by the industry. Indeed. This, this is a common complaint when it comes to Kenya's startup sector that perhaps a lot of young people are designing their business plans with a view to winning a pitching competition as opposed to actually setting up a running functional business that solves the problem and creates jobs. I, is this a concern for AVIC? Yes, it is indeed a concern for AVIC. But what we have done is through the training program, we are able to bring about a very conducive environment that is relaxed, that makes them know that we appreciate their creativity other than them trying to impress the judges. So we actually focus on their own visions. We let them know, once you come here, we are training you, but we are also appreciating what you're personally bringing. So don't try to impress the judges by trying to do what you might think we expect from you. Indeed. Um, how do you ensure that these skills that these individuals learn in the course of uh, the program um, comes back to the countries of origin? So I'm um, investing right now in health and, you know, the mobile hospital infrastructure. I mean, in the country of origin, meaning China, we are trying to gain some of what China has done to be able to go into industrialization and become this papa that it's trying to be right now. So we're trying to bring that here through vocational training, through upgrading the innovation skills, and just trying to bring the best out of the ATC participants. All right, we'll leave you there for the time being. Thank you for your time this evening, Lynette. Uh, that, of course, was Lynette Dillish, is a project manager for AVIC Holding International here in Kenya.